Jeffrey in a blazing... How y'all doing? Recently, my buddy Spencer made what I believe to be the best DaVinci Resolve plugin you can buy today, both in its simple execution and elegant design, as well as its powerful, powerful capabilities that the tool enables. This tool is called Motion Tween, and it's part of his Motion Suite at thecreativeherd.ca. Links down below. I'm not gonna lie to you, if you wanna just go buy that and go play with it, that's probably better than watching the rest of this video. But that being said, I wanna have some more fun with it. Again, I've made videos about this before. You guys should already have checked it out, but I wanted to play with it more today. Um, I was just chilling, hanging out in the, uh, the shed, the dorky daddy editing dojo. Uh, you know, whatever we want to call it. And I was looking at the wall and I saw my Pete's Pirate Life logo from the bag, his sling bag that I bought a long time ago. And I actually found that and hung it up like recently. I just forgot I had it and I was like, dang, that's a cool little simple logo. His, it looks really nice and we could totally turn that into a couple of elements and then throw it into DaVinci Resolve, use Spencer's tool and make a cool little animation out of it. So, um, I don't know. Let's, uh, do that. DaVinci Resolve. Studio 19. This paper is loud. It's driving me crazy. New project. Pete's logo animation. Animation assets. Let's throw those in here into our media pool. Uh, they are black assets. So therefore, let's go over here to effects. Uh, let's put a solid color down. Wow, I'm way zoomed out here on this timeline. So much so that I can't even drag this out. Uh, 12 second, 30. I mean, it doesn't need to be a long animation. Uh, let's make this white or like gray just for the purposes of today. All right, so for the three elements, we have the skull, which will come in first. And then we have the knife that goes left and goes right. Uh, again, all of these are PNGs, so we have the opacity. I made this in Pixelmator Pro uh, just a second ago. I don't know, does that deserve a montage? All right, but we've got our elements. Let's just do one screen. That's all we need. We're not going into fusion. We're just staying here on the edit page. Uh, let's go over to effects. Let's go to favorites and let's find good old motion tween. Just the best possible tool. Let's put it on all of these. And again, you're going to see just how quickly and easily I can animate this logo and have it look sick. Uh, let's make sure render cache is on just so that we get that background rendering so that this will always look really dang good. I am going to blade the blades just so that those come in later. We will deal with that. And for this, I think I'm going to I think 25 frames for the animation length is probably all right. That's about a second. Um, let's do quad and expo. And for the starting position, we're just going to slide this down and I think we're going to reduce the scale. And let's see how that looks. That looks really good. Okay, that looks actually, gosh dang, I love that. We may need to just copy and paste that to the other ones. Uh, that looks really good. So it comes in. I think what I want to try, and again, you're seeing the power of this plugin. I'm all in the tracks, I'm all in the edit page. This is just so easy. I mean, I kind of like those popping in. I'm not gonna lie. But we're not gonna do that. So. That flies in, that looks really nice. Let's have these, I think I'm gonna have these fly in with a back and a expo for easing for the in and out. 
And I think if I can help it here, I would really like for this to be coming in from the left and the right. I'm not sure how I'm feeling about the way that that one looked here. So it comes up, chink. I think both of these need to be Expo. I think back is just not. Let's do Expo, Expo. And I think I'm gonna change this to like maybe 12 frames for both of these because I want it to come in pretty quick. So have it pop up. Yeah, that looks good. We're just gonna tighten this up a little bit so that these are closer. Shunk, junk. That's, that's pretty good. Um, last couple of touches here. We definitely need some motion blur. Again, look at this in the plugin. I'm just checking a box. Motion blur happens and it looks great. Uh, it needs to render though, because motion blur is a little intense. That's this red bar up here for my DaVinci Resolve newbies. Um, and again, that's the th hit playback, render cache smart. Um, it's just, it knows that it's going to struggle with this, so it's doing some background rendering, which looks great. I mean, come on, that looks sick, and that was so easy. Um, the only other thing I want to do is my other favorite checkbox, which is the shake controls. Uh, the biggest thing with this is that I definitely want this to be nice and slow for all of these, so shake speed will be reduced check these boxes shake it down and let's let it render really quick get a little drink of water and let's see what we got here chunk chunk i mean come on that looks sick that looks sick that was so easy and i didn't have to go into fusion i mean come on I could watch that all day. I love this crap. I could watch that all day. But I mean, that's it, guys. Like, dorky daddies, that's it. I did this. It took me no time at all. This is why I love this plugin. I said at the beginning of the video, links down in descriptions, thecreativeherd.ca. Um, I do get a little bit of kickback, so also you're supporting me, um, but also you're supporting Spencer, which, you know, is also supporting me. Just, just love that guy. We've become great friends. Friends? Friends. I don't know why that word was difficult. But if you edited DaVinci Resolve, you absolutely want to get this. Again, I didn't go into all the details here, but you could, you could see it. If, if you've used DaVinci at all for a second, or even if you haven't, DaVinci is complicated. DaVinci has fusion. DaVinci is just so powerful. And that's a great thing. Like, you know, dorky, nerdy editing me. I love that. There's lots of stuff to play with. There's lots of stuff to learn. There's lots of things to master. But for most of us, myself included, something like this should be really quick, really easy, and really simple. And this plugin lets you do it without having to go into Fusion. Again, if you don't know what Fusion is, it's basically After Effects for DaVinci Resolve. It's great for motion graphics. It's so powerful, but like something like this, where it's like, man, I could make this quick little logo with these three PNGs. Peter McKinnon might even like this and I could get it done and I don't know how long it took me, like a few minutes. <laughs> and it looks really, really solid. That is why I love this plugin. Thank you again, Spencer, for just doing the Lord's work and making my favorite things to use right now. Um, but that's it, guys. I'm going to end it right there. Thanks for watching this video. Um, if you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. We like to get nerdy about all kinds of stuff, uh, but mostly editing, uh, to be honest, and in that kind of genre of things. Um, if you've seen a few of these videos and you like what we do here in the Dorky Dad Dojo, consider becoming a Dorky Daddy member. Duh. The most important. The members. You're the most important. We love our members. They're the biggest dorks in town. Uh, probably dorkier than myself, if we're being honest. And just really appreciate they support the channel. They also get uh, Membership Monday videos um, where I go into editing type stuff. Things like that. So anyway consider that. But that's it, guys. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in the next video. And as always, stay dorky.